Hi there, I'm James Williams, Associate Editor at Glamour, um, general lover of all things food, fitness and health. So I'm super excited today to be in the company and the kitchen of one deliciously Ella, uh, Instagram and internet sensation and an amazing food writer, also responsible for one already huge hit cookbook and soon to be this cookbook, yeah. Ella. Um, thank you, first and first and foremost, for having us here. My pleasure. Um, really, really exciting time. Second book. I know. Can second. you believe it? No, honestly, if you told me this time last year that I'd be here, I wouldn't have believed it for a second. And obviously, it's called Delicious Yellow Every Day. Tell us a little bit about how it's different to the first book. So I found so much of what I uh, hear from people when I talked about healthy eating was there were a few barriers that people really felt, which was that the food wasn't accessible, you know, that it was all these bizarre ingredients from foreign countries that they'd never heard of, you know, like spirulina. And, you know, so it wasn't accessible, that therefore there was an assumption it'd be really expensive because it was all these bizarre ingredients that you'd have to go somewhere to get. And then it'd be really time consuming and then you wouldn't be full, you know, or satisfied. And so I really wanted to show people it doesn't have to be about that. So this book is about, you know, carrots and oats and stews and kind of, you know, real comfort, normal food and quick, you know? Yeah. Because again, like there's, as I said, like people think it's going to be time consuming, complicated, and actually, like you know, I'm the crazy psycho busy at the moment, and I know me, and like I, but I need, I need to eat, yeah. and so you know, I'll make you know in the fridge birch and muesli or chaya pots or something, and they take two minutes the night before to put put a lid on, and then just take them with me. Yeah, you I know? love this whole philosophy of eating. Because like I said, I think people have this perception that healthy eating and fresh eating is different. Fat for exactly, palaver, and, and it's, it's so not. It's no. just not. You know, and. So I just want to show people that it's not and that you can do it in a really delicious way but still keep it simple, you yeah. know, without, you know, ingredient recipes that have five, six ingredients, not twelve. Yeah. And it doesn't matter how frazzled and how busy a day you've had, don't reach the takeaway menu. Yeah, because you can literally microwave. do it in five minutes. Exactly, you know. try some of these. So I'm exactly. going to prove it to you today. Yes. Okay, let's get going. Okay, so it's so easy. So we start by just making our pesto. So you just throw pine nuts in, fresh basil, salt, I'm already, what I like is this is not an intimidating, it's not a huge amount of ingredients. No, ingredient. and it's all ingredients that you know. Yeah. You know, like none of these ingredients are things you look at and you're like, oh, that might taste funny. Presenting people with meals that they look at and they're like, yeah, I know what that is. You know, it's like a healthier twist yeah. on something familiar rather than something that you look at and you just think, what on earth is that? As you said, you know, when you get back from work, you know, the last thing you wanted to be doing is chopping this and frying that and just like running around the kitchen for an hour to make a meal and just feeling really stressed. It already smells really good. I know, it really, smells really so good. good. And it looks so good, yeah. you know, and like how easy was that? Yeah. That's quicker than going to, to buy it. And then all we do is we just want to drain our beans. These are butter beans, but you can use any others. Just throw them in a pan. And as you said, beans, amazing ingredient, cheap, like really filling, yeah. good fiber, a bit of salt to them, and then we want to add another lemon, just to get some good, strong I use flavors. so lemon so much. I love lemon. But also the best the lemon salad dressing. Exactly, lemon and olive oil, yeah. just so simple, absolutely delicious. But also I think it's a really nice philosophy to live your life food-wise is if you know everything that's in it. Exactly, exactly. So we put our spinach in that will wilt. Know, but if you buy it because it's like a dressing from a supermarket, for example, there are so many chemicals and things you don't even have Exactly, and actually it doesn't taste any, any nicer either. than this. So we're just going to wilt this for a minute right. and then we're going to stir in our pesto. Spinach the easiest vegetable. I know, it's amazing. <laughs> I add it to it also because it makes everything look nice. Like I make a lot of stews and curries and things in the winter. It's much easier than kale. I know kale's the kind of popular one. Can I ask, who, who was the most skeptical person in your life has now totally come round to the deliciously oh. other way of eating? My dad was so skeptical. In what sense? Is he quite a traditional eater? Really traditional. And he was just like, you're insane. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely insane. But all my family have come round. My mum's become vegetarian. My sisters are very veggie. They all eat very much the way I do. Things are just going so well, you've recently opened your own deli. Yeah. I mean, how much of a dream come true is that? That, honestly, the day that I went over and saw the sign had been finished painted, you know, with the name on the front, that was one of the most kind of surreal moments. Because before that, we'd been working on the site for ages, it's just a building site, you know, it didn't feel real. And then suddenly you just think, oh my God, this is on a street. Like my name's on a street, you know? And what kind of stuff do, um, can we expect to be pop along to the deli? What is this it? kind of stuff. Is it like so we're going to have stews and curries and 
pastas with brown rice pasta, and then we're going to have... No this week treats as well, right? Obviously. <laughs> yeah, essential. Lots of things like this, and you, you mix and match and make a bowl up of, of different things. So we'll have, you know, our roasted sweet potato wedges and things like that. I'll be there as much as I can be, because it's so exciting. It's, yeah, it's like a real dream come true, and I want to... For me, what's so exciting is I love seeing people like eat the food. 2016 is giving up to be a, another busy, 2016 busy year. 2016 is an exciting year. But on top yeah. of all, you're also getting married. Yeah, right? I'm also getting married. Now tell me you're not catering your own wedding. No, I mean, I'm a, <laughs> I will definitely be involved in menu planning. Okay, so here you go. Smells amazing. And that's that, really. I like putting pomegranates on, just especially if you're giving it to anyone else. It just looks, so you know. Lovely. You, you know you can eat that on its own or you know with some brown rice or some quinoa some like roast vegetables and it's just as I said so easy mm. Mm. really good Ella thank you so much that's absolutely delicious I'm definitely going to make that again at home and I suggest you all, you all give it a go as well uh, from this recipe and lots of other lo lovely recipes from Ella check out the April issue of Glamour which is on sale right now Ella thanks so much my pleasure thank you